though reviled in the West, ants, crickets, grasshoppers and worms are an important and delicious source of protein in parts of South America and Asia. Natural? Oh. I kind of love eating insects, so I'm here at the Chapulinas, they're grasshoppers. Really nice, like, nutty, earthy flavor, and with the salt and the lime, they almost come across like an olive or kind of a caper or something like that with a really intense flavor, but um, if you haven't tried insects, these are a great one to try first. These ones have garlic and chili on them, but super crunchy. The inside's a little soft, but really salty, and yeah, they're really amazing. I love these things. I think everyone here has just been programmed that insects are something you smash with a shoe when you see them. I was guilty to that as well, but I did keep an open mind, and after tasting it, then seeing how intense these flavors were and how it was a whole new, I guess, flavor palette of things that you could use. It's, you know, not only nutritious, it's also really flavorful, and, you know, as a chef, you'd be doing yourself a disjustice to not delve into these ingredients. So these are gusanos, they're um, grubs that grow inside of the agave that you make mezcal from. It's often served with um, oranges on the side of mezcal. They're super duper tasty. I definitely think that eating insects is part of the future. Not only uh, because it's fun and exciting and delicious, I think that for the uh, green footprint that's left. There's a whole other world of flavor there. I mean, if grasshoppers taste this good, who knows what all the other insects taste like? I don't know. and insects are ready to be grown at an industrial scale. The key thing is sustainability. In this crate alone, there's roughly 50,000 little insects. So in this area, we have, I would say, 2,000 of these crates. So that's a whole lot of food in a small area. At this protein farm in the Netherlands, farmers are breeding crickets grasshoppers, and very juicy buffalo mealworms. Insect proteins can be ground down into enriched flours and made into products like bread and pastas. These are the little creatures. As said, they're, they're highly nutritious. What a lot of people talk about, of course, is protein. This is sort of high quality protein. Why? Because it has all nine essential amino acids. Then when you look at other micronutrients, so vitamins, uh, vitamin B12, for example, is a very interesting one because if you're a vegetarian and you say, look, I want to eat less meat or I don't want to eat traditional meat anymore, this could be a very good alternative. Unsaturated fats, that's also a big one if you compare it to traditional meat. The, the, the fats in the insects are healthier. And then of course you have certain minerals. Think about iron, think about zinc. You don't use antibiotics, hormones, or pesticides. And really, that's a major one, because that's a big, big issue in traditional livestock. And it's not just the nutritional value of insects, which has food entrepreneurs excited. Insects are a sustainable source of protein because they are very efficient in terms of feed conversion. They don't use a lot of feed. They're very efficient in terms of water. They don't use a lot of water. They're very efficient in terms of land use. They don't use a lot of land and they don't produce a lot of greenhouse gas emissions. Insects may sound like a strange staple of the future. However, these alternative sources of protein could have a positive impact on both our health